How can you stay up to date as a Python developer? This is a great question. It's a very, very important question. And in this video, I want to give you some of my thoughts on the topic. First of all, I totally believe that staying up to date as a Python developer or as any kind of other developer, for that matter, as a software developer in general, staying up to date is one of the most important things you can do for your career. And one of the things that you absolutely have to do for your career, because the field is moving so fast. And it is very, very important that you're aware of what's happening in the field, what's happening within your specialization. And uh, this is going to be very, very helpful in maintaining your high ability and your chance to get a job if you're looking for a new position or your chance to get new contracting work if you're working as a contractor or as a freelancer. So very, very important thing to do. Now, what is the best way to stay up to date as a Python developer specifically? I think there are a couple of strategies you can use. Um, one is just to read about Python, right? Like you should make it a habit to stay in touch with Python news. And whether you do that through, um, for example, my YouTube channel or other people's YouTube channel, or if you're following a couple of Python newsletters, or if you're going out and reading a couple of blogs, this is a great way just to stay in touch with what's happening in the world of Python. Another strategy that you can use is to go and attend Python conferences around the world. So if you go to pycon.org, you can see a list of Python conferences hosted around the world. And you just want to pick one that is reasonably close to you and uh, make a point of attending that conference every year or every other year. And this is going to do two great things for you. Number one, you're going to be able to attend the talks there and just learn about what's going on. You know, just sit there, and take part in the keynote, listen to the keynote, listen to some of the talks that really interest you. And you're going to get a good feel of what the big movements are in the Python community, especially if you're doing that for a couple of years. You're just going to be intuitively aware of what's happening there. And you're going to learn about this stuff. And this is going to put you ahead of most other people in the space because they don't want to do that and um, they don't want to stay up to date with the latest developments. And I feel like going to a PyCon conference is a great way to be in touch with the bigger movements in the community. Now, the other thing this is going to do is that it's going to help you build your connection with the community. You know, you're essentially going to make friends in the community. And that's going to be a great way just to be in touch with what, what's happening, what other people are working on and uh, just to make sure you're not missing out on anything. If you can't attend a local conference, um, another possibility would be to join an online community of Python developers. Um, for example, I run something uh, called Pythonista Cafe. It's a forum where Python developers and those who want to become Python developers meet and we exchange ideas, share our code, review each other's code. And this could be another way for you to get in touch with your Python with, or with the global Python community, rather than, uh, you know, attending these conferences in person, which can be, unfortunately, can be uh, a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth it. All right, um, another strategy. All right, so these are some strategies that you can use if you spread it out over time. This is not going to take up very much of your time. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very engaging. And you're going to get a lot out of this, both personally and uh, career wise, I, I totally believe that and it's worked really well for me. So maybe I'll see you at one of the next PyCon conferences or some other conference in the future. All right, take care and happy Pythoning.